Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Sip and Study series. So today I'm going to be talking to you about cooking with essential oils. Um, this is week two. So each week we are going to share our summer sip recipe. So I thought it would be fun if I shared with you my lavender lemon spritzer. That's really good. Um, so here is the recipe. You can take a screenshot of it. Um, one thing to note is that if you are going to be using, I have a note here that you can use Spindrift Lemon, which is just kind of, a kind of like flavored sparkling water with juice in it. Um, that, then you can skip the one lemon that's juiced. You don't need to add that just because it's already, then it'd be like, unless you want it like super lemony, you don't need to add that. But this is really delicious. You can garnish it with lemon slices and lavender flowers if you would like, but that can also be skipped. All right, so here are a few fun facts about essential oils and cooking. So I only recommend, obviously, doTERRA essential oils because they are 100% pure tested grade essential oils, and they're beyond organic, free of fillers, pesticides, and foreign contaminants. doTERRA really does their research with third-party testing um, and everything to make sure that these oils are super safe for us to use on our bodies and to also take internally. Um, to note, one thing to note before taking internally is just make sure that they always have the supplemental facts label on the bottle. It'll just be kind of like on the back of the bottle, it'll say supplemental facts, and that just means that you are able to take that internally. Some oils you are not supposed to take internally, so just kind of be aware of that. Um, so doTERRA oils are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. They are fat soluble, which just means that they're easily absorbed into the body and contain oxygen molecules that help transport nutrients to starving cells. So they're really good for our body and they can actually get into places where other things can't. Um, so right here, they can penetrate the cell membrane, making them an incredible support to the immune system. So uh, cooking with essential oils and like adding essential oils to your water and drinks are so beneficial for the body. They're super powerful antioxidants that eliminate free radicals in the body. Um, so why cook with essential oils? They can add amazing flavor. They have internal benefits. They are safe and natural, unlike some seasonings that you can get at the store that have a lot of bad additives in them. And they're super convenient. So here is a helpful essential oil substitu substitution chart. When I first got started with cooking with essential oils, it was a little bit hard to figure out like how much of the oil to add in place of other things. So definitely pause this video and screenshot this so that you have this handy. Um, I'll explain some of it though. So a toothpick dip is when you take a toothpick, you stick it into the essential oil bottle. So you just have to open the cap. Don't take off like the, um, it's called an orifice reducer. You just kind of stick it in there. What I do is kind of tip the bottle over and then you dip it once in the recipe. And that is usually for like oregano or the very, very strong oils, especially if you're making like sauces or something like that. Um, a toothpick swirl is the same thing. You're gonna dip the toothpick into the essential oil, but then instead you're going to swirl it around in the recipe. And then obviously a half a drop is just a half a drop. So how you would get that is you drop it into a spoon and then kind of just use a sharp knife or like a fork or whatever you have and kind of just like flick off some of the oil. Um, and then it kind of goes over different herbs um, that measurements there with essential oils. So definitely take a picture of this because it's super helpful to have until you kind of like memorize and like kind of get used to doing it more on your own. So uh, some essential oil options for cooking, this is just a few of many, many oils. I could talk all day about this, but I only picked a few. Um, so cilantro is such a great flavor for rice, chicken, salad dressings, guacamole, Mexican food, and fish. And then basil is great for caprice, lasagna, pesto, pasta, tomato soup, chicken, Black pepper you can see is good for marinating meat, adding to sauteing oils with vegetables. Um, cinnamon and clove are somewhat similar. They are different, but um, if you only wanna pick one, that's fine. So I just kind of added them together, um, but they're a great flavor for French toast, cinnamon rolls, pumpkin recipes, all those things. Um, so again, they do have like a little bit of a different taste because they are different things, um, but you can kind of substitute one for the other. 
fennel is super good for fish, soup, anything with sausage. And then thyme is great for soups, stews, and all things meat. So these are a few oils that I like to use when cooking. Um, so a few things to note too, um, or a tip that I would give you to remember to use um, these oils for cooking is to keep them in your kitchen. So I have all of like the oils that I can use, cook with and then all the oils that I can take and turn it like in water or stuff in the kitchen where I can see them so that I remember to use them. So then other drinks and sides. Um, some of the oils that I love adding to water are lemon. Um, that's a really good oil to use if you wanna just detox your body. I also love using lemon oil to clean my fruit. So what I will do is just get a glass bowl. Um, super important to use only like glass or ceramic or stainless steel. Don't use plastic with essential oils because essential oils can start to break down that plastic and you don't wanna be like drinking or eating that. Um, but with lemon, using lemon to clean your fruit, I love getting like a glass bowl, putting a few drops of lemon essential oil in it, filling that up with water and then putting my fruit in there and letting that soak. And then I'll just rinse it off. And it really helps clean the fruit um, extra well versus just like washing it with water. Um, grapefruit's really good. It helps if you're trying to like limit um, sodas or like sugary drinks, I suggest drinking grapefruit in water. That's really helpful for that. Um, peppermint and wild orange, super amazing for if you just need like a refreshing jump start in the morning if you're super tired. Um, cinnamon bark with honey is really good if you add that to hot water. So like I would just add a spoonful of honey with like, I don't even know if I would do a full drop of cinnamon, that might be a little bit much, but here's where you can then do the toothpick, probably maybe like a toothpick swirl in that, and then stir that in hot water. And that really helps soothe, soothe your throat if it's not feeling the best. Um, peppermint and lemon is really good to freshen your breath. And then there are just a few other oils that I listed, lime, tangerine, green mandarin, celery seed, there's a lot of essential oils that are really good in water. Um, tea, I really like bergamot, cinnamon bark, fennel, lemon, peppermint, Roman chamomile. Sometimes for tea, I won't do a full drop, um, especially with like the peppermint and the cinnamon bark. That's when I would do like, again, the toothpick swirl or just the toothpick dip, depending on um, if you like it a little bit stronger or not. Um, so essential oils also work well in smoothies, slushies, lemonades, hot chocolate. I love adding peppermint to my hot chocolate. It's so good. Um, they work well in other baked goods, sauces, dips, salsas, um, salads, marinades. So there's a lot that you can do with cooking with essential oil. Okay, so these next few slides, I have um, a bunch of recipes for you that you can then pause um, or you can just screenshot the video um, so that you have these for later. A few things that I wanna talk about with cooking with essential oils. Um, is that you always want to start with a small amount and then add more as you need it, especially with the non-citrus oils. So like oregano, again, for example, that's the one that you would for sure want to just start with a very small amount. You can do like a taste test, see if it's strong enough, and then you can always add more from there, but you cannot take it away if you add too much. Um, and then it's always best to mix your essential oils with another oil or liquid when cooking um, to more like evenly disperse the flavor. So for example, when I make spaghetti and I add oregano, I will not add oregano to the meat. I will add it to the sauce and then mix that all in. Um, and that just helps it to disperse it better. Cause otherwise I found that, you know, some pieces of meat will be extremely stronger than others and that you don't really want. Um, and then when it comes to baking, that requires more oil flavoring than cooking does. So for baking, I found, um, because I will make different like, like banana breads or muffins and stuff and add um, essential oils to it, like clove. It depends on like what I'm making. And I find that you can't taste it as well if you only add like a drop or two. Um, I like a stronger taste, so I add a lot more, um, but you can again, kind of experiment with that. And of course you're gonna have to like bake it all the way through and figure out if it was too much or too little, but just be aware that you do need to add more to baking than cooking. Um, and then always, if possible, try to add your essential oils at the end of cooking so that they're exposed to less heat. 
because the less time the essential oils is, is exposed to heat, the more flavor it'll retain. And it'll also retain more of like the benefits um, that essential oils have for your body versus if you just, you know, kind of cook them out starting at the beginning. So if possible, add them at the end. If that's not possible, just add more of the oil to start with. So here I have recipes for a few different marinades that you can um, make. So uh, one, so like the Boslamic rosemary marinade, you would need rosemary essential oil. Um, a really good one is like the chili lime marinade that uses lime essential oil. So take a picture of this and then Seasonings are really fun to make with essential oils too. I have a rosemary garlic rub up there, Italian, Italian seasoning blend. Um, essential oil flavored sugar is something that I actually have not made yet, but uh, when I was going through like my recipes that I still wanna try, I found that and I thought, oh, that's really fun. So I'm gonna have to try um, making this as well, but it's, yeah, it looks really good. Um, Asian seasoning blend really good um, to flavor like chicken, pork, vegetables, soup. Then here are two salads um, that I really like. One you need basil essential oil, and one you need lime essential oil. And then there are the instructions to make those. Um, so take a screenshot of that. Then there's a bread recipe here and then blueberry orange muffins. I love um, making muffins and experimenting with different essential oils. So wild orange is really good to add to muffins um, for, and it depends on like seasonally too, kind of what I do. So in the fall, especially in the winter, I will add more like cinnamon, clove, cassia. Those ones, um, we love making different like cookies with them or um, muffins usually, different things like that, that kind of are like seasonal. And then beverages. So here are, here's a smoothie recipe and then a raspberry limeade recipe. Beverages might be my favorite thing to add essential oils to just because it's extremely easy to I mean like cooking and baking with essential oils once you kind of like get into the habit of that that becomes really easy as well sometimes it might feel a little bit overwhelming to start cooking with them but just start like just start and just start experimenting with them um super easy super fun adds a lot of unique and better flavor I feel like um and then also you're getting all of the benefits of essential oils as well okay so some essential oils that I recommend that you add to your next order. So if you are already a wholesale customer, um, you can add, I kind of um, grouped them a little bit. Um, so like the herbs and then all of the fruits that you can add it to like um, either baked goods, sauces, um, you can add them to salsas, um, water of course. But remember if you order on a loyalty order, so if you order a hundred point value loyalty order, you get that free shipping. And then you're also getting um, 10 to 30% points back depending on where you are in that. So it starts out with 10. I always get 30% points back of anything that I order. And it's been so helpful because then this is how I get a lot of like my extra cooking oils that I use um, and stuff. And then if you want to take that a step further, remember that every month if you order before the 14th of the month um, you get then that free product of the month if your loyalty order is 125 point value or more so i usually always take advantage of that because you're getting a free oil for you know ordering more product that you're going to be using and then once you start cooking with essential oils it's a lot easier to uh, then you know kind of like use what you buy because i'm sure a lot of all of us have oils that like we buy in the beginning that we don't use or that we don't really know how to use. Um, so hopefully some of the oils that you have sitting in your closet or pantry or wherever you keep them, um, you'll be able to use now. Like I know a lot of people don't really use oregano or know how to use oregano. Now you have some recipes that you can use oregano for. So this is, if you're a wholesale customer, I suggest adding on any of these oils, any mix of these oils to your order to start cooking. 
And then if you are a new customer, um, this is like a bundle that I suggest um, to start out with if you wanna start cooking with essential oils. So it has black pepper, cilantro, fennel, thyme, lemon, and clove. So that is $157 and it's 157 point value PV. So um, this month, if you order 150 PV, so point value or over, then you are going to be getting a free wholesale membership, which is awesome. The um, wholesale membership is usually $35 a year. So that you're getting for free. Um, when it comes time to renew, it's $25 for the next year. And then they also send you a bottle of peppermint oil, which uh, I believe retails for like $32. So that is an amazing deal. And then throughout the whole year, you're going to be paying wholesale prices on everything, which definitely, definitely adds up to saving a lot of money, especially when you take advantage of the loyalty to rewards order. Um, so there is also this month, if you order 150 PV or more, you're going to get that free wholesale membership. Plus, if you then place your first loyalty rewards order the following month, it needs to be at 100 point value or more. And I have a bunch of oil suggestions for you in the, the previous slide. Um, then you are going to receive 50 doTERRA dollars. So doTERRA dollars, um, just what it sounds, just like it sounds, it's, you know, it's $50 basically to spend on more oils that you can use for cooking or other products that you're interested in. Um, then you're also going to get access to our private VIP Facebook group um, that has continuing education on it. So videos like these for free that you can take advantage of. Um, and then an amazing community. You can ask questions in there, get support in there. Um, there's a ton of files. There's a ton of eBooks. Um, it's super helpful. You're also going to get one-on-one -on -one support. So uh, um, that is, you can, you know, you can text us questions. We will help you. We'll go over your order with you, help you kind of use your oils in a wellness consult. Um, and then optional biz mentoring too. So if you are interested in doing the business, we have amazing resources for you um, that will really help you excel in that. And this also goes for our current customers as well. If you haven't been taking advantage of the private VIP, VIP Facebook group, I definitely recommend that you go in there today and kind of look through it again. Um, you can use the search uh, feature to kind of search other questions that people have asked. Um, if you have like the same question, kind of see if, you know, some people have already answered that. Um, that's a very quick way to get answers for any questions that you have, even just to use like an essential oil. You can type in that essential oil and there's usually always education on that essential oil in there. Um, definitely, I recommend the continuing ed education classes. There's more than the ones that we're doing that Londa and I are doing in the summer. Um, and then you always are getting one-on-one -on -one support. And then if you are interested, we do still have the optional, optional business mentoring for you as well. So to order, reach out to whoever shared doTERRA with you and we'll help you get started. Or if you are a current customer, you can just log into your account and then order from there. Okay, so a reminder, um, submit the form of completion for week, oh, I forgot to change that, week two of the series now. So it's going to be located underneath this video on YouTube. You're just gonna click that, fill out the form, and then um, just hit submit. And then we'll be able to see that you watch this and then that you you know, filled out the form and everything, because once you complete all eight, then we are going to give you a free diffuser. So for that, reach out to whoever shared doTERRA with you. Um, you know what? I did not introduce myself. I am sorry about that. Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Anna. I am on Londa's team. So we're teaming up and doing this eight week series. Um, I've been using essential oils for a long time now. I think it was the beginning of 2017 that I started using them, um, fell in love with them. And now I find it hard to order less than like 200 plus dollars a month because my family and I use them all the time. Um, all right, let us know if you have any questions. Um, hopefully this was helpful. You can reach out to me if you have any more cooking questions, but yes, don't forget to fill out the forms. Um, and I hope you guys have a rest of a good rest of your week. 
and then keep an eye out for next week, then for the next part of the series. All right, I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of your day.